children are transitioning from crawling to walking, they try to stand up and keep falling down. The parents, however, encourage them by saying, Tengerera, Tengerera, in Uganda, in Rinyankwere, uh, Singaberezi, Singaberezi, in Rinyankwere, and Te Te, Te Te, in Luo. Yes, sir. You cannot get a will wisher who does not want a child to stand and walk on his own. Therefore, when you get an actor who says, if you act independently, I will deny you solidarity. I, I intended to give you. My answer to such a person is, keep your bribe. I prefer my ability to stand on my own and in freedom. I congratulate you on the 61 years of Uganda's independence. In last night's speech, I therefore tried to point out what we ought not to concentrate our, our minds on, and those factors that we ought to emphasize. In my view, these are eight factors, and they, and they are the following. Number one, rejecting the pseudo-ideology of identity politics, meaning religion, tribes, gender chauvinism, and promoting the ideology of interests, which where you deal with the needs, markets of people's products, jobs, wealth creation that we have demonstrated that it promotes prosperity of society. Number two, un 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 understanding the importance of promoting the private sector. Nekorera Yange in Uganda, Atim Ma Mega. In actuality, that's correct? Atim Me Mega. Therefore, you Ugandans and the leaders, especially the political leaders, the administrative leaders, you need to understand the importance of the private sector because it helps us to develop our country with little, without too much supervision because these people work for themselves, but in the, in the process they build our country. Then the third crucial factor is economic infrastructure, meaning the roads, the railway, electricity, telephones, which lower the cost of doing business in our economy and also link the wealth creators, meaning the farmers, the manufacturers, the service providers, with the consumers that buy 
what the wealth creators produce. Now, the fourth factor is social infrastructure in the form of schools, health centers that cater for developing knowledge and the skills of the population as well as protecting their health. I cannot end my remarks while here in Kitugum without informing our people here about the Renkunyu, Masind Port, Apache, Ilira, Puranga Road that is now, is now being tarmacked by companies known as Sadim Al Kuwait, General Trading and Contracting Company and Gurusam Insat Sanai. They are working on that road. Now, the, the Puranga Achoribur portion will be done by possibly a new contractor. The one selected earlier had problems. Now, finally, the insecurity caused by the cattle rustlers. I go, I go to report, when we met in, in, uh, in uh, Baliregi, we, we, we agreed on what to do. And uh, I'm sure things have changed. And we are going to put more capacity. But what I found out is that some of your leaders were also involved in the, in the stealing of cows. Your Excellency, uh, President Museveni, thank you very much for having us here. On behalf of my President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, President of the United Arab Emirates, would like to congratulate Your Excellency and the people of Uganda on the 61st Independence Day. Our two countries enjoy a cordial and a respective relationship, and we look forward for strong relationship between our two countries. Thank you, Your Excellency, and God bless you all. Raisi wa Jamhuri ya Uganda, pamoja na viongozi wote mlioko jukwa kuu kwa niaba ya Mheshimiwa Dr. Samia Suru Hassan, Raisi wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania ambaye angetamani sana kuungana pamoja na we Mheshimiwa Rais kwenye tukio hili muhimu leo ameshindwa kufika kwa sababu ya majukumu mengine. Hata hivyo amenituma nikuletee salamu nyingi sana za kwake yeye binafsi za Watanzania kwa siku hii ya leo kwa watu wa Uganda na kwako we mwenyewe Mheshimiwa Rais. Anawatakieni kila la heli mnaposherekea miaka sitini na moja ya uhuru Anajibunia sana mafanikio makubwa mlio yapata katika kuijenga nchi ya Uganda lakini kujenga umoja na mshikamano katika ukanda wa Afrika Mashariki na Afrika. Mheshimiwa Rais anakutakia heri ya afya njema Mheshimiwa Rais pamoja na waganda wote. Asante sana, asante sana, asante sana Mheshimiwa Rais. Among whom came are female during this year's 51st National Independence Day and Bursary. Class 4, Officer. The owner of the District Order of the Nile, Class 4, Officer, is awarded to a community or religious leader who distinguished him or herself in promotion and support of a government program. He held and served in various positions as the chairperson of the Head Child Association in Mazatas. Custodian of the Lord and Fifth Site of the Church Association. Bishop Otto Idrifua, David, Mel Adult from Chukum District. Mr. Otim George William, Mel Adult from Chukum District. Mr. Okwera Ali Fred, Mel Adult from Chukum Battalion in Jinja. He rose through the ranks up to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel, at which he retired. <laughs> Your Excellencies, we now usher in the Uganda Prison Service with your grey and the maroon. <laughs>